A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So last episode we faced the day 35 horde and then we came over here. I wanted to do the quest and we got interrupted by a wandering horde. Although the wandering horde spawned far away and as they walked by you can see there's a lot of ferals in. Those over there are all still feral. I was shooting a gun then, I just snuck around over here and they all ran towards where the noise was. So for now at least we are safe. This however is going to be a very dangerous quest right now. Um, I know this POI, there's going to be a ton of danger inside the farm over here. Hello, 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 I see you over there. Oh, I also want to see, can we uh, go a little bit more into the hidden strike over here? This needs to be level 5. 1, 2, hidden strike. Now we'll be able to do an extra 150% damage. So especially since we have to do a lot of sneak damage right now, we need to make sure we have the skills for it. Damn. With all the shadows moving and stuff, you can't really tell where the zombies are. There's definitely some more inside the crops over here that I'm not seeing right now. I think the best way to wait uh, is just to run through there, wake them up and just run back over and jump up like I'm doing right now. Let me just see this. Oh, this pl whole place is going to burn down as well. I forgot about this. This mod, uh, this POI, that over there is burning. So the moment you get close, it's going to explode. And then this whole place is going to get set alight. So we have to kill the zombies fast enough to go and set the fire out. I also should probably just do this. So I can actually go and put the fire out in time. Where are all the zombies? Are all of them inside and they're just waiting for me to fall in over here? That's a terrifying thought. I'm not seeing anything else in there. I'll jump down and see what I can do. Uh, hopefully, this is not going to be the death of me. Hello, lady. She woke up. Okay, she doesn't seem to be feral. It was just her. This dude is not part of the quest. Oh, the ferals are coming back. Oh, no way. You're not feral. You're just random zombies from the area of here. The nice thing is this compound bow, not only is it purple, but it's powerful. I think those over there might be the ferals. Because they were standing over there, now all of a sudden they're gone. That is really bad for us. Okay, so since we can't nerd pull, we have to pres uh, actually prepare now for this. We can jump over here, we can jump over here, and we can jump on top. Okay, we do have our gun. We t unfortunately, we don't have any explosives on us. We're really going to need some explosives right now. See, that's going to start a fire. Jump over here, jump over here. So there were zombies actually in the... Grass over here. I needed to check uh, better. Nice. If I can just set the fire out over there, we'll be safe for now. Okay. I want to make sure I actually get the XP for killing them right now. Oh, those zombies are also part of this place. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the fire out. Run, 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 run. Hello, lady. I saw you. I saw you. Ooh, don't fall down. See, we have to deal with more of these ferals now. At least we're able to do quite a bit of damage. Especially if we can get that sneak damage in. I think we can do quite a bit. What I need to do now is work a little bit more on my health. So that when, well, what was that just now? I need to work on my stealth more so we can do those tier 2 infesteds, super infesteds. Uh oh. If I can do some tier 2 super infesteds, that will definitely help us out. Cancel. Damn. Yeah, I mustn't zoom in right now. That's my problem. You know what? Screw this. He's trying to jump me off of here. Unfortunately, because I'm doing all these shots, all of these zombies will now also come for us. Damn. We are running out of arrows like crazy. I should do all, uh, also make sure that we pick up all the arrows when we're done over here. This dude is powerful. Damn. How many times did I shoot him just now and he's still going? 
Okay, even though I fired those shots, it doesn't seem like they're coming for me. Sometimes you have to tap the E so much just to try and get the arrows back because it doesn't always give you the arrows back. Okay, so there is a pig in here. We can get some meat as well. We have to be careful of it though. I think there's also a pig over there and some more radiators. Can't get in over here. Why not? I should probably be careful to be in here now because if I get stuck in here with something, it's going to be very, very dangerous for us. That pig just woke up. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. I need to farm them anyway because I need the meat. What meat does this give you? White meat or red meat? White meat. Damn. We need 125 red meat for the one quest. So you can actually think that's going to take a while. We need to actually go just into the middle of nowhere and see if we can't just go and hunt a ton of animals. Okay. We should be more or less safe of here. I want to make sure the zombies super close to us get to hit first. And then we'll do the rest. There's going to be a vulture up top and a few tough zombies, so we have to be careful of them. Other than that, I think uh, the zombies inside of you are all the way done, right? Be careful that there's nothing stuck in here. Okay. I know on top of us is there's going to be a ton of ferals, so technically what I could do is try and wake them up with some noise. But I might be able to snipe them as well. So we'll, let's just see if I can actually snipe them. Uh, if I can do that, it's going to be a lot easier as well. It says three areas left. So there's definitely a dog still uh, inside one of these. There's going to be a feral biker or something somewhere over here. Oh, you're not feral. And you're not a biker. It's amazing how fast you can run out of arrows in this mod as well. There's definitely a dog over there. So after the dog's done, all that's left is the vulture and the zombies up top. I wonder if this section of here with the dog and this dude just now uh, counts as one. I think the dog's gonna be inside. Yep, this bathroom. I need to skin the dog as well now. I need to get all the beds over here as well too. It's free springs and pipes and stuff if you go and wrench these. And also the tins and stuff you can get from this. You can get more um, iron in the recycling station. Yep, the Vulture seems to count as one as well. We'll come and loot this after. There shouldn't be any zombies left anyways. So as soon as I'm done clearing this place, we can actually go and just quickly loot all this stuff over here. Now it's going to be the dangerous part. The very, very dangerous part. There's a vulture on top of here. Okay. Wait, still two areas left. How? It's just those three zombies over there, so it shouldn't be areas. And then we just do this, do this, and rip this off. I wish I knew about this sooner. Every time I ripped the boards off, it took 10 seconds, and then to open up the container takes 10 seconds, so that's a lot of time being wasted. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now, please don't wake up. What is that? Feral zombie, female lumber. Lumberjack didn't wake up. Awesome. Oh, he's up here with me. I wonder if this is the second area. Yeah, only one area left. But is it just this lumberjack left now? Or is there more? There's usually two, like three zombies inside this room alone. 
There you go. Okay. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that this, this is it. That was it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we should probably just first pull this stuff off. The final container, do we have lockpicks? No, okay. I'm gonna have to bust into this container quickly. It's gonna take a while, though. I wonder if there's any other way to break into these. As far as I'm aware, there isn't. So we have to now go and break into that with a pick. But look how slow this is gonna be. It's 101 damage with every single shot that we do. I want to definitely try my hand at that tier 2 infested. We failed one. This house had actually almost burned down. If I can find that one, clear it out, the infested quest should still be in there. The, the reward for it. So that house is just sitting there with all the loot inside. It's obviously super, super dangerous going in there because all of them will still be feral. Because the quest was failed, but all the quest zombies spawned in. But if I can go in there and just quickly clear out the place, we might be able to get ourselves another anti-rad mod. And especially with the bosses starting to show up right now, we really... I really need a way to stop. Okie dokie. The whole week, it feels like I'm getting sick. The whole week, my throat just closes up. And even if I clear my throat, it just sounds like it's getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, that zombie's outside. Need to drink that. See, this last row over here, you have to, uh, I think, combine backpacks or something. Because at the moment, if you look at our pack meal, it is maxed. So to get the last backpack, I think you need to do a oh, last something of here. You need to actually go and either make a backpack. Let's just see. Backpack. Rucksack. Pack. Nope. Okay, but yeah, I think you have to go and grab 10 more, make us something out of it, and then you can unlock the last uh, few rows of here. So it's a, it's a lot to be still have to do, but if we can get that done, that'd be awesome. Okay, now to save some space, we'll just scrap what we can scrap, and then we have to go to the trader. And hand this quest in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I still need to go to the trailer system over here and just really loot all the stuff in the trailer. There might be quite a bit of stuff still in the trailers, like books and stuff. If I can find a POI with like, some workstations, workbenches, uh, we might be able to get some more books. We literally only need... Oh, more books. I think six more workstation books and we can make the tier 8 storages. That's going to be a massive, massive win for us. See, this over here is the big sea farm. So this is one that we can do as well because it's a quest we have. Only problem is... Yep, look at that zombie bear over there. And that's not the only one. I think there's like three... Two or three zombie bears over here. That's salvage tools. Two or three zombie bears. Uh, there's a few zombie dogs. It's, it's just super, super dangerous. Without proper weapons right now, we won't even be able to take the bears out. So that's the only reason I can't do that farm right now. Is just it's too dangerous. I want to see if we can't go back to the one POI that I mentioned. The one with the... Well, you know, the one where there was so many radiates we had to run away. And we, have, we were on the fence with like 6 HP left and we ran away. That POI. If I could get that final stash that's in there, because that quest's final stash is still there. That would be amazing. Okay, so... Um, let's go for steel. We're not using the iron crossbow anymore because we're now using just the bow. We need to go back for more arrows as the base. And I think let's go for a wrench. Because like I said, we have to go wrenching right now. So we have to wrench and wrench and wrench. Even if the stuff breaks, that's fine. The more we wrench right now, the better. Ooh, should probably not sell that. I mean, we do have quite a few notes already saved up. But I have no idea how fast that's going to go once it does. And then we have 5,000 coin. What can you uh, sell us right now? I'm tempted to buy that, but it's 20,000. Water. Yes, we'll buy the water. Why not? Ammo, books, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what can I sell for this? Stuff that I don't need right now, I can just, I'm gonna sell the book. <laughs> I need to make sure that we get those. We're so close to being able to make T8 storages now. Oh, I can go to the other traders. I think let's go to Jen and them. It's almost nighttime anyway, so it's gonna get super dangerous. So instead of doing something really dumb right now, we'll go to Jen. Um, how much is that gonna cost me? 200. If I sell this. Yeah, okay. I know I'm selling stuff that I'm not supposed to be selling right now, but I, I'm desperate. I need some cash. Sell that. Buy that. Not yet. Can I sell perhaps all of that? 40. Okay, we have, we're almost there. Robotic parts. Okay. So we have everything this one wants to... Okay, now we have to go into our base, grab all the stuff we want to sell, and then go to Jen's place. 
This is awesome. If we can get some really good loot or even more books from them. I just need, I think, like six workbench bo books. Workbench. <laughs> yeah, the workstation, the workbenches. We just need six of them. I think these zombies are dropping dead over here because of the fact that I went from 100 alive zombies to 80 again after Horde Night. I think just for Horde Nights, we'll go up to 100. And after Horde Night, we'll set it back down. So otherwise, there's going to be too much lag out in the world. Okay, so if we want to make T8 storages, let's see. Two more books. Please, please, please tell me Jen's going to have what we want right now. If she has, I'll kiss her, man. Oh, that was a lot of stutter just now. I really, really, really hope she has. Again, and also these, they're still going to spoil. At least they spill one at a time, but I need to hunt more as well. If we go to Jen's place and we come across any animals, I have to try and snipe them from a distance. And as we get these, I just have to go and put them in like so. Okay, this will go on my bike. I actually grabbed a ton of these off the um, trailer walls. Uh, there was a ton of them over there. I was like, you know what? I know we're going to need them, so let me just grab them. Okay, farming. Ammo. That's also ammo. This goes over here. What's supposed to be over there? Perhaps the fuel. Drinks. Okay, my food and drink is getting low, so I should probably just quickly go and eat this before it spoils. I think one of it's already spoiled. That sucks. That is unfortunate. Ammo. Meds. Armor goes up here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have stuff over here we can sell as well. The more we can sell to the traders right now, the better. Damn, I can't put any more in there. What I could do is just throw the grass away for now. It's easy enough to get, uh, get more of that. I'm also tempted to go and sell a ton of the parts and stuff over here that I know I'm not going to use. Like, for example, this is an extra. We can sell that, sell that. I know we might get more by putting it on a gun itself. We'll see if we have a spare gun to sell. But for now, if we can just go and sell a few of these and get some cash, that'll be awesome. Grass collector mod. Uh, no, I'm not going to use anything like that. We have a helmet light mod, so we do that. Although, I wonder if your armor can break break. I don't think so, because the armor that we had on us, uh, yeah, they weren't broken after a while, but I, I don't want to take a chance. If it can be broken broken, we have a big problem. Okay, saw blades. What does this sell for? 162. We have a grill already. We can get more easily. I want to make sure we sell as much stuff as possible right now, even if it's... Okay, look at this. We have so many headlights. We can sell like a whole stack of headlights. Boom. I'm hoping we don't need that for anything else. Well, we could probably just do this. Yeah, quite a few things needed, but we're not going to really be using it that often. We'll sell one of these. We'll sell these. We'll sell one of these. I want to keep one of each in here, basically, just to make sure I can stack it later. Okay. That should be enough cash, hopefully, to buy the last two books. If not, we can always just do one more quest or something for the trader over there. And hopefully get the last bit that we need. Weapons. Oh, TBF Gaming is actually using a sledgehammer. And it works really, really well. I'm actually surprised with how well the sledgehammer works. Okay, do this. Do this. I know I should probably repair them before selling them. But I mean, repairing them is going to cost a lot. So I can just all sell them. And we're not getting as much as we would have gotten by repairing them. But that's fine. That is totally, totally fine with me. You know what? No, no, no. Just in case later we want to combine stuff. Okay, let's quickly go to Jen's place. It's almost nighttime. We have to be careful. I'm going to just fill that up. And let's go. So Jen is all the way up here. There hasn't been any other airdrops or anything yet. So I just have to keep an eye open for that. It's a shame you can't pick up vehicles. I want to put my minibike away. I'd probably just destroy that or something. And then also, let me just do this. Do this. So if we come across any kind of animal, I can just quickly try and kill it and skin it. The thing is, by the time I see the animal, the animal already sees me. Yep, look at that over there. I have to do this and I have to get to the animal before the zombies get to them. I need 125 meat and we're only getting 6 per stag but still if i can kill every single stag we come across it won't be too bad okay let me just do that please don't destroy it too much see i went over the hill and saw it too late so i had to improvise just now two five okay so driving into it damages the bike too much and also unfortunately yeah loses one meat 
See, by the time we have 125 meat, at least a 20 meat is spoiled. Because that's how long it takes us to actually get the meat that we need. And in the meantime, even in the fridge, it does spoil over time. Although if we can put it in a fire as a recipe and just stop the fire, it will preserve the meat as well. So that's something that we might actually want to do. So this over here, we have to kill these pigs, but it only gives us white meat. Oh crap. See how slow this is. I'm spamming it right now. It's just going super, super slow. But the moment you just attack... A little bit faster, although I looked down a little bit too early just now. Hello, piggy, piggy, piggy. Look how fast we're getting white. Oh, I was about to say, I thought for a moment that we had like a hundred and something white meat. But damn, how are we getting so much? Oh, can we buy meat from the traders? I think you can, right? Okay, I need to be able to park in such a way that we can just get out again. I see you, man. I see you. Stand still. You're not getting away from me. That's impossible. Okay, what are the chances of actually getting meat inside this place? You again. I'm starting okay, to think um, you like Dr. Jen. Please, just two books. I just need two books. Yes! Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell stuff first. Must make sure I don't accidentally sell stuff that's mine. Like, imagine accidentally selling my fire axe right now. I mean, technically, I just had to sell the lights, but now we have more than enough cash to buy more stuff. So, one, two, that's all we need. Oh, I can't believe it. Nice. Okay, charcoal, food... I'm gonna see something quickly. Something like. Now, if I want to buy it from her, it should show. Yeah, it's already been read. Awesome. I wonder if I have Needle and Thread Volume 7 yet. Because then I'll be able to make pocket mods, which I don't think we have at the moment. Gas. I mean, we can make our own gas and we had known, now know where the desert is, but we still have to go and mine there. I actually wanted to do like all six episodes in a row, but I think I should fin finish with this episode. And then during nighttime, go mining, and during the day, go to the desert and go mine a whole day. And when you guys get, uh, when I get you guys back, I'll have so much oil shale. I did want to wait until we had. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. But I heard something. I did want to wait until we had like the steel pickaxes and stuff, but I don't know if I can actually wait that long. Drinks. Okay, I need to get that. Okay. The meat we have quite a bit of meat. Nice. Look at that. This row over here, like I said, we just have to combine backpacks. I don't know if we need another um, hitchhiker's backpack or if we just have to combine backpacks. I know there is a feature where you actually have to combine them to get what you need. Hello? Open that. We still also have to go for all of the police vehicles. We just click go back over here. Yeah, we need to go uh, and also loot all the police vehicles. Open them up, just loot them, uh, and then run away. Um, it's unfortunately the lockpicks are... Oh, that's another thing. I think I might have enough points for more lockpicks. If I can put a point into the lockpicking skill, we can make our own lockpicks. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit intensive with a forged iron, but that's fine. If I can have stacks of, forge of the lockpicks, we don't have to worry about opening this up with force. This might be really dumb right now. Nah, 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 it's going to be too dumb. It's already almost 10, so if I do that right now, it's going to get way too loud over here. Ooh, there's a wandering horde spawning in over here. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not living over here right now. If I had to deal with all those zombies now, we will be wasting all of our ammo and everything. See, with no fog over here, we can see so clearly. It's after horde night, so I think I need to restart the game. Oh, there's a boss somewhere. Come on, 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 come on. If the map gets this hot, it means there's a boss somewhere that's uh, close by. A nemesis. I have to be really, really careful because bosses can reach you from a distance, Nemesis Zombies. Oh, there you are, the red one. Yeah, yeah, that thing can reach us from a distance, so we have to be really careful. Probably arrange this vehicle over here to get out of the way. Ooh. Damn. Wait, is that the advanced? And oh, that's normal repair kits. I have to make more normal repair kits. 
Damn, my bike was really, really low right just now. Okay, so if we do this, we only have 32. Damn. We need so much more meat. So that, we, that means we're going to have to go mine, uh, not mining, hunting. But the, uh, the difficult part is, where do we go hunting? I'm actually thinking of just doing this and going mining first. I wonder jackals. Um, what are they called again? Not jackals. You know what I'm talking about. The, the animals in the desert. <laughs> if I kill them, what do they give you? And also, I just realized... Let's check what's over here. We wanted to sell this as well, but that's fine. And then T8. We can finally make it. Making planks is super easy as well. You just go over here and you make planks. First you put some fuel. And that makes 500 planks right there. So that's five boxes worth. If I want to make 15. I wonder if I can move this. No, you can't. After you place it, it seems it's locked. I mean, I could only just make the three times... And we can just make 12. We don't need 15. Because already they can have so much more space in it. So what I want to do is grab some more wood over here. I want to grab this for some fuel. I'm mean, just going to burn this down over here. 15, which means 1, 2, 3. That's 15. That's 21. I need a little bit more, but for now it's fine. I need more saw... Yeah, I wonder if I shouldn't make more table saws. We have more saws, like three more. Table saw. Screws we have. Table saws we have. I think we might be low on forged iron. Yeah, there's eight over there. Two over here. The nice thing is we do have a little bit of clay smelted in over there, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, so my goal for now should just be making more workstations. This over here, this one is enough. This over here, I might want to make a second one on top, but I need to take the bars out and replace it with a full block. I could put another one on top of here, another one on top of here, and two more on top of here. I'm just hoping, yeah, can it hug the wall or will it fall? I think to be safe, I'll just put it on the floor. I know these can hug the wall, but these, if I put it on the wall and it falls in, that's a lot of resources wasted. So for the table saw, what do we need? Let's just track that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Springs, we have a ton of springs. Mechanical. Electrical. Cordage. Screws. Screws, I think, are over here, right? Yep. Cordage, I have to make more, but we have at least 48 over here. So I can make four if I wanted to. And then saw blades, I think I put under tools. So I'll make two for now. And I just realized we have more of these over here. Nice. Guys, as soon as we can make these storages, it's going to be awesome. Okay, for T8 storages... I'm just, I'm just waiting for the forged iron now to continue over here. How much do I have on this side? Eight. No, not the steel. Yeah, I need the steel for the storages. Two. There you go. So at least I can make one of these at the moment. And then when I make the T8 storages, what do I need? Brass hinges, and that's it. And planks. Brass hinges, brass hinges. I have a ton of brass hinges. Look at that. I made a ton uh, like way back when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need these soon. So I definitely have to make it. And now I'm really happy I did. Okay, I need 10 more than I can make two storages so far. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then, uh, yeah, I think you make the storages of here as well. T8. No? Can you make it over here? T8. It has to be in the workbench. T8. Boom. That's going to give us so much more storage. I can't wait to test it. And when I have this one, we can actually split the work for the uh, planks in between the two so we can actually get these resources faster. I also probably need to make myself more forges. But I'm going to have to go and break out the um, gates over here. And these gates have so much HP. Look at this. 7,000 HP. I wish I had an auger so I can just go and break this. Apparently the chrome tools will be really, really worth it. So when we have the chrome tools, we might have to use those. I used up all my points, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went for the... From the shadows thingy over here. Hidden strike. I can now actually go for a running gun and light armor as well, since we're carrying light armor. That helps with the stamina penalty. Reduce light armor movement penalty and stamina penalty. 
improve durability by 150%. Especially for our crappy armor. We definitely, definitely need that. Okay, this is going to take a while to finish. Uh, let's see how many zombies have come to say hello. I should probably make a Molotov or two more. Oh, that's a whisper over there. Uh, we should make a few more Molotovs and then just go and... Kill the zombies with the Molotov so we can get the skill done. Quest, training. I need to kill 100. And 40... 138 more zombies with my bow at the moment. And I'm guessing next up is going to be the compound crossbow. There's not enough zombies right now. If I could call in a screamer horde or something, that will help. Or that wandering horde, I should have brought that closer. I thought you didn't have a weapon, but you have a fire axe. But you are actually technically very dangerous. I feel like as soon as she starts taking damage, the zombie should attack her. Because they were mixing in between the zombies, fine, I don't mind that. But the moment they start taking damage, they're bleeding. So the zombie should be, mmm, what's that smell? Table saw, table saw, table saw. Craft. Let's try and put it on the wall just for experimental sake. Yeah, we can. I mean, that would have sucked if we couldn't. Okay, if I make 500 planks over here. 500. That is 9 minutes. That's 10 minutes worth. And then this one over here, I'm going to make planks as well. That should be enough. I, th I think it's still a little bit short. Yeah, 7 something. Now it should be enough. I don't want to waste my frames. I, at least I am making a ton of nails. Oh, I already grabbed them. I made a ton of nails over here all, out of all the bent ones. So we have 138 normal nails as well. And then this should be done as well. I want to see what the difference is. So we're going to put this one over here. Which one should we do first? Let's go for building supplies. So this one's always full. Uh, any more space first? <laughs> I need to dump the building supplies like so. Grab this. And the nice thing for those of you don't, guys that don't know, the storage is in Ravenous, you can pick up. So even if I destroy this one now, bottom right, it shows that it picks it up. Then you just do this. That is resources. And look at that. Look at that space. Okay, so, uh, yes, all resources. I can put building supplies and resources together now, basically. Which you couldn't do in the past because you just didn't have the space. Resources, building supplies. More resources. That's fuel that's going to stay here for now. This goes in other boxes. Okay. So we went from a container that was like overly full to now double the size. So if this one holds 54, this is basically 100 slots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 100 slots. There you go. So I'm just going to keep making all of these then. I'm going to make sure that we have uh, 12 of them. That should be more than enough space for now as well. I want to technically separate these. I think what we could do is put all the mods for the weapons together, tools together, all that kind of stuff. It's also going to create more space that way. I can also go and just drop this stuff over here. Technically, you do this. If it doesn't have a scrap value, you can put it in here. And you'll be able to get some stone out. This is an awesome, awesome station over here. But yeah, I, I'm just going to go, guys, and I'm going to just make sure that we get all of these into the correct boxes. Make sure I have everything over here. Yeah, I'm going to get everything into the correct boxes, make some more boxes. Um, I think I'm going to take an in-game day to just go and mine like crazy. And then, yeah, you guys should see the progress then by just looking at this. If I can get this to 60, steel tools. Apparently, then you can get chrome and the chrome tools. Oh, this is unlocked auger. That's aluminium over there. I wonder if steel and chrome and uh, chrome tools go together. But basically, you can use steel to get more chrome and stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to use my pickaxe for now. I'm going to make sure I move all of the stuff into containers. And then, yeah, just to make sure that I put this down as well. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.